Good morning, so five o'clock. Boom. Five o'clock. Um, I feel so much better than last morning. Hmm. I love pineapple. Alright guys, about to start meditating. Whoa, yeah. Just got done with uh, affirmation and meditation. Um, so it's 5.50 and I'm going to the gym now, which is right across the street or parking lot. Um, and it's raining. I didn't know it was raining. I'm going to do visualization, exercise, writing, and reading all at the gym because I think, um, well, visualization is really hard to do and stay awake for me. That's the hardest thing to do and stay awake. So I think I'm going to do that on the treadmill. So I'm going to walk on the treadmill, visualize, then I'm going to exercise on the elliptical and then I'm going to um, read on the treadmill and then I'm going to write sitting down. So I think that's a good way of doing things. I just destroyed this bike. Holy crap. My legs from leg day. Oh man, probably not a good idea what I just did. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Easier than running. Crap, that was a hard 10 minutes. Okay, time to read. So I actually walked friggin' 0.7 miles at two miles per hour just reading. Um, let me, I'll show you when it pops up. I decided to, to read for, oh, crap, I hate these safety keys. What the heck? Anyway, this is gonna, this is gonna save me so much time. I was done, like I was back at my apartment completely done at like 7.10 every morning and now I'll be able to be back in my apartment completely done at 640 just because of this gym so yeah it sucked being super super tired yesterday morning and falling asleep on the couch it sucked it was a failure but at the same time if it wasn't for that I probably would have had this idea a while in the future not only that but I'm saving gas it's, it's great it's great so I read for 20 minutes just because I have time. Um, now I'm gonna write, I'm gonna work on videos and that'll be it. Just got home from work. Uh, I'm not gonna even lie to you. This morning, okay. Oh. Ah. This morning, I did good, right? I got up, I wasn't tired, I went to the gym, did all my stuff. You saw, you saw, okay? Look, here's the thing though. As I was writing in my journal, I was writing and I'm like, man, this sucks. I'm feeling that tired. The thought's coming back in my mind. The thought of like getting in bed and just taking a nap. And I was writing in my journal saying that sucks. I hate that thought. I hate, I hate being tired. So I, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give into that crap. So I, you know, just do my stuff and I get in bed. I get in bed and I should not have done that. I shouldn't have done that because I was like, I'm going to take, take an hour nap. I set, an, I set an alarm for an hour and then, then the alarm went off and guess what I did? I pressed snooze. Yup. Yup. I pressed snooze and, um, wasn't my best moment and I ended up sleeping until 10, uh, until like 10 o'clock and then I went to work at 11. I don't want to tell you guys this. I really don't. I wanted to. I, I want to to pretend like I'm perfect and I'm doing everything like super perfectly. But no, I'm giving in and I'm failing and it sucks. It friggin' sucks. I'm just making a, a commitment to to tell you guys the things that I don't want to share with you. Right? I do not want to tell you about it. And and since we're on that subject, I kind of just sat in my bed for 20 minutes looking up on my Instagram, and that's not freaking good I can't be doing that crap you know so like I gotta eat I, I can't I got responsibilities to myself so that's what I'm coming with you right, right now so I'm um, I just want to be honest because for those of you trying to better your lives I'm sure you're going through the same thing and and if you if you see me trying to better my life and you think I'm doing everything perfectly that's gonna be that's gonna that's not gonna help you at all right you need to know it's hard it's freaking hard and that's why I keep failing. Um, but you take the failures and you learn from them and you do your best never to do them again. So, just being honest.
Guys, I just realized something. I've never shown you how I make my fourth meal, my protein shake. So I cut out kale and I cut out blueberries just because they don't have those two things at Aldi. So what I do is strawberries, oatmeal, peanut butter, avocado, banana, and almond milk. I put all of that together and blend it up and it tastes amazing. So first thing, I put um, a cup of oatmeal in there. Oh, then I put, let's see, five strawberries in there. Then I put a whole banana in there and then I put an avocado in there I just literally squeeze it out it's kind of disgusting I'll show you squeeze it in there yeah like that now most people most of you are probably thinking that is disgusting and it truly it kind of is but honestly it's because oh, I'm gonna put the seed in the sink because of this uh, strawberries and, and, and peanut butter and stuff um, you cannot taste the avocado at all, so definitely a good thing to have in there. All right, then after I put my four tablespoons of peanut butter in there, the last thing to do is about two and a half cups of almond milk. Now, why do I use almond milk? It's less protein, you know, all that crap, less vitamin. I don't even know what's in milk, like it's just a bunch of protein, but it's less of all of it. So why do I use almond milk? Well, I'm on a dairy-free diet. Why am I on a dairy-free diet? Because acne bro acne it gets rid of it so I'm, I'm trying to not eat any dairy that way my acne won't come back where the heck is the lid at? where the heck where'd the lid go so I'm fixing my headphones um, remember how they broke yesterday during leg day well what I did I took a hanger and I broke it up into different little parts right here and I'm just I did four of them and I'm just taping them on so it's getting like reinforced check it out good as new look at these Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, Mr. Jim, gonna do chest today. Um, again, I'm in my sweat shirt, so I'm gonna really get the muscles warm before I take it off. Um, I want to go up to 245 today and work out with that. We're gonna try 245. Um, so we'll see. I'm not sure yet, but I mean, we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling. Anyway, I'm up in the frequency of chest because, again, that's always been my least, my most lacking muscle, right? So I think the frequency of chest, um, it's been three days I think since I did it, and today I'm really wanting it to hurt, so we're gonna go crazy. Do an incline for the first time since I, I hurt my little clavicle, whatever, I don't know, I still don't know what happened, I still have no idea. So first time, it's been about four weeks since that happened, um, and that's what inspired me to stop back eating and all that crap, but uh, so this is like my fifth exercise. And let me say, I already did incline dumbbells, and this is, normally I do um, 185, and this is just 135 with six reps. Yeah, that's how that's how beat I am. But I got a lot I got a lot to say about the uh, the flat bench uh, flat bench press. Super excited to tell you about that. So I feel it. I feel it a little bit, just a tiny bit. It's just like barely there. So it's probably a really good thing that I'm only doing this amount of weight because if I was going any heavier, I might run the risk of. Um, hurting myself again, which I definitely don't want to do. So, super excited, super happy to be back on incline. Um, now I can start doing it every workout again. So, yeah, yeah, guys. All right, guys, you know what time it is. We got a new scale, which I guess is good because the other one gave me an inaccurate reading. But I, I always get nervous with new scales. I don't like them. I don't like new scales. But this one's pretty cool, so. Hang on. Why isn't it working? Is it dead? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 197 and a half, bro. I'm getting back to where I was. This is freaking awesome. Like, that used to be a low weight for me, but now it's like super high, and I'm just. I need another pound. I'm so excited. No, no. Gaining weight's good. You want to get stronger. Your muscles build more retention, Ellie. She's yeah. kill, she's killing the game. I was here for like an hour and a half, and she came with me and worked out the whole time. <laughs> Fellas, you need a girl like her.